What happens during a mental health tribunal? My name's Sasha and I'm a solicitor here at GN Law. By the end of this video, you should have a better understanding of what goes on during a hearing. The people who attend a tribunal tend to be your psychiatrist, your doctor and your nurse, and also your legal representative. This may vary, however, depending on the type of section you're detained under and the complexity of your case. During the course of the hearing, the panel, who's made up of a legal member, a medical member and a lay member, will have the opportunity to question your clinical team on their evidence which they would have provided in reports before the hearing. So the way it works is your doctor will have the opportunity to give their evidence, the panel will then ask them questions, and then your legal representative will have the opportunity to cross-examine them on their evidence. This will then happen for your nurse and for your social worker. At the end of the hearing, you'll have the opportunity to give evidence yourself. This is normally done by your legal representative asking you questions in order to guide you to address the right topics. Of course, if you'd rather give your evidence at the beginning of the hearing, then this is something that can be arranged to make you feel more comfortable. At the conclusion of the evidence, your legal representative will have the opportunity to give legal submissions in order to put forward your case. Once this is done, the panel will ask everyone to leave the room in order to deliberate their decision. And once their decision is made, they will call you in and inform you of what they've decided. So, I hope that you found this video helpful today and that you now have a better understanding of what happens during a tribunal hearing. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to contact a member of our mental health team on 0208 492 2290. And if you found this video helpful, please like and share.